A warm welcome, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, to the live stream of our online Mass for the fourth Sunday of Easter. Today we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday, or the Day of Prayer for Vacations. A gentle reminder, please, to adopt a prayerful and worshipping disposition. Be reverent and do not attend to calls, messages and other tasks. Take care about your posture. Sit steadily and pay attention. Dress appropriately by wearing smart casual. Do not appear sloppy. Encounter the Lord in stillness. Listen to his voice in silence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, calling to mind God's mercy and compassion as we confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts and, and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us. Yeah. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed the crowd with a loud voice. The whole house of Israel can be certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Hearing this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the apostles, what must we do, brothers? You must repent, Peter answered, and every one of you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise that was made is for you and your children and for all those who are far away. For all those whom the Lord our God will call to himself. He spoke to them for a long time, using many arguments, and he urged them, Save yourselves from this perverse generation. They were convinced by his arguments, and they accepted what he said and were baptized. That very day, about 3,000 were added to the numbers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be 
reading from the first letter of St. Peter. The merit in the sight of God is in bearing punishment patiently when you are punished after doing your duty. This, in fact, is what you were called to do because Christ suffered for you and left an example for you to follow the way he took. He had not done anything wrong, and there had been no perjury in his mouth. He was insulted and did not retaliate with insults. When he was tortured, he made no threats, but he put his trust in the righteous judge. He was bearing our faults in his own body on the cross, so that we might die to our faults and live for holiness. Through his wounds, you have been healed. You had gone astray like sheep, but now you have come back to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep, and my own know me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but gets in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hears his voice. One by one, he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger but run away from him. They do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands. But the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, 
Today's Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Here, Jesus uses the I am self-identification. Twice, he said, I am the gate of the shipful. I am the gate. The self-identification of I am the good shepherd comes after verse 10, but it is implied in the text when it is said that the good shepherd, he will come and the gatekeeper lets him in the sheep hear his voice, one by one he calls his own sheep and leads them out. The self-identification, I am the good shepherd, is not mentioned but is implied. Now we may need to know a little bit of a cultural background to the saying of Jesus. There are two kinds of sheep pen. During the time of Jesus, in the village, there would be a big area designated as the sheep pen. And there would be a number of shepherds. When they return to the village, all the sheep will be heard into that huge space. And there would be a gatekeeper. In the morning, all the shepherds would come and they would call up to their own sheep. Each shepherd would have a group of sheep that he would look after and they would be able to identify their own sheep. And when the shepherd A called out the names, one by one, his sheep would follow him. And then shepherd B, shepherd C, the sheep listened to the voice of its own shepherd. Then there was another kind of sheep pen which was uh, in the open where the shepherd would bring the sheep for eating. So outside there would be a simple sheep pen demarcated probably by just uh, stagging some stones or some plank. That sheep pen would not have any gate, just an opening. And the shepherd would sit at the opening, he himself serving as the gate, as the door, protecting the sheep. And that is the meaning when Jesus said, I am the gate. It is equivalent to saying, I am the good shepherd. I would protect, I would guard and guide the sheep. This text today can be applied to people who are taking on some kind of leadership positions, protecting guarding and guiding his people. Usually we refer to, uh, for example, myself, a priest as a shepherd, a pastor. But it can be applied to other leaders, say teachers, parents, and even politicians. 
In fact, in the Old Testament times, the kings were referred to as shepherds of Israel. Mentioning about priests, shepherds, pastors, I recall one Dutch missionary priest, Father Franz van der Luck, who worked in Syria. And we know that for a number of years, uh, Syria was in deep internal conflicts. There was war, fighting between rival groups of armies. It was a dangerous place to live. Father Franz, prior to his mission in Syria, was uh, in his own country looking after some uh, mentally disabled children. And then he went to Syria for his mission. When war broke out in that place, some people advised him to leave, telling, them, telling him that it was dangerous to stay back. But he decided to stay. He made this remark, why people die, their faithful shepherd die with them. And that really happened. On 7th April 2014, he was killed by an armed man. He gave his life for the people he served. Those of you who are in Singapore would know that uh, our cathedral is named Good Shepherd Cathedral. How we got the name? Since Lauren Imbert, a French missionary, was one of the first Roman Catholic missionaries to visit Singapore in 1821. Then he went to Korea for mission. And it was the time of severe persecution there. When Christians were being persecuted, Father Inbert wrote a note to his fellow missionaries requesting them to surrender themselves together with him in order that when the leader surrendered themselves, the authority would spare the flock, the lay people. He was martyred. And when news came back to Singapore that Imbert was martyred, it was also the time when the cathedral church was built and they decided on this name because they remember his remark before he died. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Today, let us pray for our leaders, including our pastors, priests, teachers, politicians, and parents who exercise the role of leadership, that we are able to exercise this role after the heart of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. I watched my first movie when I was a primary school boy. It was my then catechist, I call her Auntie Catechist. In Teochew, uh, my parents would call her Dolly Go. She was the one who brought me to my first movie when I was in, I think, primary five. And that movie was about a school teacher who, during school holiday, brought the children to the seaside for picnic. 
and uh, one of the boys disobeyed the instruction not to swim far ahead in the water. So he got into trouble when he swam, and this teacher rushed to save the life of the boy. In the process, he, she rather managed to save the boy, but sacrificed her own life. The good shepherd lays down her life for the sheep. And I believe that many parents often sacrifice a lot for their children. If they were poor, they would deny themselves adequate food and comfort just to ensure that their children would have enough food, clothing, and the necessity. And these parents are the good shepherds who sacrifice themselves for the children. As we celebrate this uh, Good Shepherd Sunday, we praise and thank the Lord Jesus, who, being our Good Shepherd, sacrificed himself for us and even died for us on the cross. He said that he has come so that we may have life and have it abundantly. And we praise and thank the Lord that the Lord has raised up among us also many people in different vocations, including the priestly vocations, who dedicated themselves for the service of the people and very often sacrificing themselves. We continue to pray for one another, especially those in leadership positions, that we may live up to the virtue of Jesus, appreciating what He has done for us and imitating Him, the Good Shepherd. Let us encourage one another, support one another, and pray for one another. Let us now stand for the profession of faith. I believe in one, one God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker Earth of heaven and earth, earth, of all, all things, things visible, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son of God, God born, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things will make for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life for the world to come. Amen. The Prayer of the Faithful Guided by Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, let us open our hearts in prayer to God our Father. Let our response be, Lord, show us your mercy. Lord, show us your mercy. That through the ministry of the Church, all men may recognize in Christ the full revelation of God and come to experience abundant life by following his gospel. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy. That those who are suffering in one way or another may bear the pain patiently in union with Christ and be comforted and strengthened by him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy. That parents be generous and encourage the children to the priestly and religious vocations, and that those who hear God's call respond accordingly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy. For Singapore and the world, that medical personnel, political and church leaders continue to serve the greater common good with wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy. Prayer for vocations. Our loving Father, source of all goodness, we turn to you with trust and confidence. Following your Son's instruction to pray for more laborers to bring in the harvest, remove any obstacle that may prevent your will to be fulfilled. Bless your church with families and communities of faith and love, and from among them produce men and women dedicated to a life of holiness and service. Guide those you have called to discern your purpose for them and be willing to offer their lives to you in holy orders and consecrated life. Father, you know the needs of your people and you ask your help to recognize the voice of Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd. We make this prayer through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we we'll receive this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, we have received this cup we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you become for us our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewed constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, his rising the life of all who has risen. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the form of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection or who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Had the Savior's command. Informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those who are at home, you may now receive spiritual communion.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We have a few announcements now. Today, being Good Shepherd Sunday, we remember Christ as our Good Shepherd, and in a special way, we pray for the specific vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. So I invite you to pray for young people to be able to respond to God's calling to a life of dedication. There is a web link seminary.catholic.sg that leads you to our seminary website. There you can find a lot of information about uh, what it means to uh, be a seminarian, preparing to be a priest, and you may have some fear and uh, hesitance with regard to responding to the calling, and there will be some guidelines uh, provided there, and also many uh, very good testimony of our seminarians, so do visit uh, the website. The month of May is the month dedicated to our Mother Mary. You are encouraged to uh, renew your devotion to Mother Mary, that uh, trusting in her, that she will lead us to Jesus. Many groups will be organizing a rosary, so you can pray at home or as a group, now that you cannot meet uh, physically, then uh, you can possibly uh, meet online so that as a community, we continue our rosary devotion and seeking our mother's intercession, especially this time of special need that uh, the Lord may bring healing and wholeness to the world. You are encouraged to be connected uh, to the parish so do visit our Holy Cross uh, website, our Facebook, our YouTube channel, and uh, also uh, in ways that you are possible, you continue to contribute to the financial needs of the parish and the diocese and the many uh, social service agencies under the umbrella of Caritas Singapore. On Monday, we have our parish faith formation sessions. You registered by first uh, sign on to the Telegram apps. From there, you search for Holy Cross faith formations. Then you can uh, sign in and uh, subscribe. Once you are subscribed, uh, you are registered for this um, Faith Formation Program and the admin uh, will send you the necessary information uh, for participating in this Faith Formation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.